end we saw in Rambo Last Blood will probably not be the end for Rambo, after all despite the title suggesting otherwise, and not only because Rambo is still alive at the end of it, but also because of the rumors of a prequel or a sequel already in the works, with the passing of the torch being the main element of the upcoming project, a huge change of pace for the character that will surely shake things up. One of the oldest franchises out there debuted back in 1982, a year when the first Rambo First Blood movie featuring the character of John Rambo came out, and ever since then, there have been five movies including the last one that was released in 2019, which according to many people around the world, meant that it's the end for the character, not only because of how old Rambo is and how long Sylvester Stallone has portrayed the role for, but also the events that occurred. I've lived in a world of death. Before I move forward with this video, I have to warn you that there will be spoilers up ahead regarding the latest movie Rambo Last Blood, and with that out of the way, let me continue. Ever since the first movie was released along with three sequels that followed the movie, the world could see the character's ptsd fuel breakdown from the first movie following Rambo in the next sequels, including the last one, and the only thing Rambo does in the movies is fight. At one point, he goes back to Vietnam, and he fights alongside the Mujahideen in Afghanistan, one of the worst choices he made, probably, and he rescues Christian missionaries from the genocide in Burma, after which he goes home. Now nearly 40 years after his first outing, the character is still kicking, and the latest movie was a good enough depiction of what he has been doing after he went back home, with the movie itself clearly being set up to show Rambo's last ride with the title of the movie being yet another indication for that. All these years I've kept my secrets. But the time has come to face. But that's not why I'm here today. Rumors have been circling around the internet about yet another movie featuring the character, some who believe that another movie, a sequel, will supposedly release, and others that a prequel might already be in the works with the character. Now I don't know which one is true, but I'll surely tell you everything about the speculations, what it could all mean for the character's future, and no matter what theory becomes a reality, what the outcome of the choice could potentially mean for the franchise and everything the upcoming project will bring to the table. Changes that will probably shock you more than you think, or even make you wonder, how did this all happen? But before I do that, it's crucial I take you on a little journey regarding the Rambo Last Blood movie because it could potentially have some clues as to what we should expect moving forward, and without further ado, let's dive right in. They will welcome death. The movie is a revenge story, and everything starts with Rambo living on a ranch with Maria and her granddaughter Gabrielle, who travels to Mexico to see her biological father, but is kidnapped along the way by a cartel. Rambo travels to Mexico to rescue her, and does, but Gabrielle dies as a result of the abuse she suffered before Rambo saved her. As a response to that, Maria leaves and Rambo says that he'll do the same and that he'll just wander the same thing he has been doing over the last couple of years of his life. But before he does that, he hits that like button just like you should if you haven't done so already. But no, in all seriousness, he plots his vengeance as he makes his ranch a fortress where he'll supposedly make his last stand. In order to lure the cartel, he goes to Mexico and kills one of the brothers in charge. Yeah, there's nothing they can do to stop it. The ending is shown through one big action sequence that sees Rambo doing what he does best, killing everyone that comes for him, but not before getting shot a few times. The wounded Rambo then goes back to his house and sits on the rocking chair on his porch, saying that he never really came home, with his fate left ambiguous at this time of the hour. Ultimately, from what was shown, it's clear that the movie set itself up to be the last one for Rambo, which doesn't necessarily mean that it will be, seeing how he's still alive at the end of it all. He has yet to find his peace after his life of fighting and struggling, and even though the movie supposedly meant the end, or wants to spell the end for Rambo, the events actually bring him back to his previous life after wandering for quite a while in search of his peace. Judging by the end of the movie, I think that it could all fall down to Sylvester Stallone's desire to make more movies because Rambo's story is far from finished. Or that is what I think when I look at the ending of the movie, and how Rambo's desired peace never came through, not until now at least. I think they've lived with this young man for so long, and now he's an older man. Thus, there's a high chance that we could get another sequel of the franchise, one that will answer many of Rambo's questions 
and fulfill his desires after being out there in the world for more years than he ever expected. A movie that would put Rambo in a tough position, one he cannot fight through, a huge change of pace when compared to all the previous movies from the franchise, hence bringing an end to the character's life and him finally finding the peace he craves for quite some time now. On the other hand, there have also been speculations about a prequel of sorts regarding the character, which according to Sylvester Stallone is a far better option than yet another sequel, a project about which he would definitely return. Information that we got from one of his interviews that followed the Rambo Last Blood movie's release. He said that while another Rambo movie is likely to happen, the format in which it would come to the public is still unknown, pointing to the rumors about a series coming in the future, a prequel that has supposedly been planned for quite some time. A few months passed after the statement about a prequel, and now the newest information that was given to the public was that there's a chance for yet another sequel, one that will put Stallone's Rambo in a position to smash that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. But no, in reality, put him in a position to pass the torch, a trope in the filming industry that has been a huge hit over the last couple of years, with Rambo put in the spotlight to bring a change to his character's franchise and us to see, and I quote, the next Rambo. Take the stage, a youngster that will somehow connect with Rambo and who will be the one to take charge and get tasked to fight for the entirety of his life, always on the run and wandering the entire continent after messing around with the wrong people. I've watched people I've loved die. The meaning of peace for Rambo could ultimately lie in that the constant fighting he has done was for the greater good, something he believes in especially after being part of the accursed world he found himself in and knowing that there's someone out there he can pass the torch to and continue his fight for the greater good of people. Could potentially be his final fight, finding the true peace he desired for quite some time and finally letting go of the notion that he has to be the one that will do all the fighting when something is not right. Whatever the case may be, I personally think that yet another Rambo movie is not a question of if it's gonna happen, but rather when it's gonna happen, no matter the case of it being a prequel or a sequel that will see Rambo on his last endeavor and his life of fighting finally being over and him this time around truly enjoying the rocking chair on his Porsche, a huge change of pace for the character and a story finally finished and like many stories out there, one's end is just the beginning of another, a different Rambo to take over. See you in the next video.